First thing I started off with is the horns and I'll have a tutorial for these next week but before I do anything else I'm going to go ahead and apply some green lenses and then I'm going to be using a BB cream. I'm going to be applying quite a lot more than I usually do but today my skin needed a bit more coverage than usual. I'm going to be using a large buffing brush just to blend this all out and then I'm going to use a concealer in the inner corner of the eyes and the outer corner of the eyes and I'm going to be blending this out with my fingers but as usual if you prefer to use a brush go ahead and do just that. Then I'm going to go and fill in my eyebrows. I don't think there's really much I need to tell you on this point. You've seen me do this a million times. Now for the nose, you can either go ahead and make one or you can buy one. I'll have a tutorial for this up in a few weeks, but I'm going to be sticking it down with latex. You could also use processed adhesive if that's what you have as well. Now while that's drying, it's a little hard to breathe because you're a bit worried about it moving around. So I am going to have my mouth open for a lot of this, but there's a reason I'm not just pulling fish faces. I'm then going to contour. And once I've actually applied the line and blended it out roughly, I'm going to be going over it with that buffing brush to make sure that there's no harsh line. And then I'm going to be highlighting. And I'm going to be doing this in a C shape. So just underneath the arch of the brow, you're going to bring that round to the top of the cheekbones and you're also going to bring it over the lid of the eye. I'm going to keep the eye makeup extremely simple and natural today. Just a little bit of dark brown eyeshadow on the outer corner, slightly up into the crease and then underneath on the lower lid, blend it right up into the lashes. And then on the edges, you want to try and drag that out towards the hairline. Now for the nose, I don't have a heavy cream concealer which matches my skin tone perfectly. So I'm gonna show you a trick for how to cover up the edges so that it's not blaringly obvious if you have exactly the same problem. Now for the nose, you want a little bit of pink around the nostrils. If you don't have a red or a pink cream, you can also use lipstick. It will give more or less the same effect, but just make sure that you blend it out well. And then I'm just going to be taking a dark brown or a black cream, and I just want to bring that up along the edge of the nostril line. And you don't have to be massively neat at this point, because later on we're going to make the front of the nose black. But for the moment, I'm going to be applying freckles. And I'm going to be applying this over the edge, just so that that way, once later I've drawn the black onto the nose, I don't have these edges where the freckles just stop. I want there to be a nice gradient. So I'm going to be doing this part with the cream, and I'm going to be blending out with the brush and my fingers. And the reason I'm doing this is because this cream has a bit of a red undertone, so it's going to make you look like you're a little bit more suntanned, especially if you blend it out with your fingers. And then after that, I'm going to be using eyeshadows over it so that we get different coloured freckles, because that's what anyone who has freckles naturally is going to have. They're not all going to be exactly the same colour. Now you want to paint the very tip of the nose black, and now to cover up those edges, what you want to do is take a small art brush or an eyeliner brush, and you're going to do little lines which are just going to spread up from the nose all the way towards the edge of your eyes. If you only have two colours to do this gradient, then use black or a dark brown, but if you can, try and add a light brown. It's going to make it look a lot more natural and those gradients are going to be a lot more soft. Now I'm going to go back in time a little bit just so that I have all the lip makeup in one place and what I'm going to be doing is using that exact same pink that I used on the nose all over the lips and you're going to blend that out and go over the edges of the lips a little bit if you can. And then for the centre I'm going to be using a lip tile which is more of an orangey shade and having a gradient which is going to spread out from the centre of the lips. For the rest of the eye makeup I'm going to be using a mascara that's actually for your brows but I really like this one it's got a very small brush and it's very easy to do very neat mascara that isn't going to look clumpy and spider leggy at the end of it. And in the inner corner of the eye I'm going to really heavily apply a loose eyeshadow and this has got flecks of blue and yellow in it so it makes it a little bit more interesting especially when you move. And I'm going to drag that round curving around the socket of the eye Then you just want to let your hair loose and a little bit of dark eyeshadow just on the outer corner of the eye as close to the lashes as possible. And then that's it, you're done.